looks so pretty out tonight. I'm sure everyone is having a lot of fun. I wish I could go outside and join the fun. At the very least, it'd be nice if I could go home and get some sleep. To snuggle in my nice warm bed after drinking a nice hot cup of tea or cocoa. <laughs> but I can't think of stuff like that. I have to focus and get all of my work done. And then I can go out and have some fun. <sighs> if there's any time to do that when I get done with all of this. <sighs> I wonder what the mayor is up to this evening. I think they mentioned they'd be out of town for New Year's Eve. Probably to visit family. Does the mayor even have family outside of town? I mean, they know they have parents, but they never really talk about them. Maybe it's a different relative? Or maybe they're not seeing family at all and they're visiting friends? Or what if they have a... What if they have a partner outside of town that they're visiting? What if they're going on a date as we speak? I bet they're at a really cute cafe, having a romantic dinner. I bet they're wandering around town too, shopping for gifts for each other. Something cute like matching sweaters or matching scarves or even matching necklaces. And then they'd settle down to watch the fireworks and maybe even share a kiss as they, as the clock strikes 12. I bet the mayor would be a great kisser. <laughs> Don't think that way, Isabel. They are your superior, for Pete's sake. Think of what they would say if they heard you say such inappropriate things. <sighs> they would probably be disgusted, sickened, annoyed that someone like me fell hard for someone like them. I will never be able to face them ever again. I will never be able to work with them, look them in the eye, talk to them. It would be too awkward. They'd probably fire me. I'd have to make a dreaded walk of shame back home, hear from my parents how they expected something like this to happen, since this was a job they always believed would never work out. I would have to attempt to start my life over again from scratch. But, but what if they don't get mad? Or grossed out? What if they're okay with it? Maybe they're actually the type that still want to be friends after hearing something like that? Or what if... What if they actually felt the same way? What if somehow, some way, they liked me back? No, that that could be farther from the truth, I'm sure. Besides, even if they did, it would just make things complicated for us when working together. It would not only damage the reputation of Terminia Town, but it could also damage our friendship if something went wrong. I could never forgive myself if I let my feelings ruin how things are now. Maybe that's why they've been so quiet around me recently. Maybe they can sense how I feel about them and they're trying to avoid me? No, 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 that's absurd. There are much easier ways to avoid someone than that. So there's no way that they would do things like go on business trips or spend hours fishing or catching bugs on the opposite side of town just to get away from me, right? <sighs> Jeez, Isabel, you just love to be a paranoid little pup, don't you? Uh, and you also love talking to yourself, apparently. Ugh, I must be really exhausted if I'm talking to myself to make up for the lack of company on New Year's Eve. I'm so pathetic sometimes. 
Thank goodness the mayor isn't here to see me in such a pitiful state. Oh, maybe some rest is all I need. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately after all. I'll just rest my eyes for five minutes. Sorry, welcome to Germania Town Office. How may I help you? M Mayor, what are you doing here? I thought you'd be at home for all the holidays. What are you doing here? You, you decided to stay for our annual New Year celebration in the plaza? That's great, Mayor. I'm sure everyone will be so happy to know that you decided to stay for the party. Especially since you did most of the planning for it, after all. It'd be a shame if you couldn't attend and see the fruits of your labor. Huh? Why am I not there now? I, um... I still have so much work I need to do, Mayor. I cannot think for even a moment of going out and having fun when there's still so much that needs to get done. As much as I want to go out and have fun with everyone... With you... I have to focus on work. Anyway, forget about me. You should go out and have fun. As mayor, it's your job to make sure everyone is having fun at the party. And it's the secretary's job to make sure all the remaining work is taken care of. If I stay, then not everyone will be having fun? But, but mayor, there's still so much I have yet to do. I mean... I need to finish half at least before I can even think about the mayor. What are you? What are you taking me, the mayor? M mayor, while I appreciate you trying to help me, I I really must be getting back to the office. I I'm not even close to done with all my paperwork. P plus, I d didn't even bring a coat with me, and I'm f freezing, and I. Thank you, Mayor. You, you didn't have to give me your coat. N now you're going to be cold. <sighs> you truly are persistent, Mayor. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if that part of you is a blessing or a curse. Oh goodness, the sound of their laughter is making my heart race. Oh, and their coat is so warm and it smells just like them. Oh, this really is like puppy love, isn't it? I could die right here and I would be perfectly fine. I'd be at peace. Oh, wow. Look at the turnout this year. Everyone came out of their homes for this. They even laid out blankets on the ground like it's a picnic. And... Is that a buffet table? Uh, Mayor, just how much did you do for the celebration? There's so much more than I expected. You wanted to make the celebration a bigger and better introduction to the new year? Also because it's leading into a new decade. <laughs> you never cease to amaze me, Mayor, with your big and creative ideas. I'm impressed that you were able to get all of this done on your own, especially without me knowing any of it. Was I really so busy with my own work and my own problems that I never even noticed that you were planning all of this? Maybe I truly underestimated you, Mayor. This is one of the reasons why I love you so much. Huh? You have a surprise for me? <laughs> my, you just keep on surprising me today, huh? Well, now you've piped my curiosity even more than you already have. Alright, lead the way, Mayor. They seem pretty excited to show me their surprise. I wonder what it could be. Jeez, if this keeps up, I'm just gonna keep falling harder and harder for them. Seeing them smile like that is just driving me crazy. Keep it together, Isabel. You can't let them know how you feel about them. It'll just make things worse. We're here? M Mayor, what did you- <gasps> M Mayor! Wh what is all this? You prepared a picnic basket, sweets, snacks, drinks? Where did all these flowers come from? I didn't realize we had a flower garden this extravagant. You've... 
You've been working on this for how long? For three months? Uh, how am I not known about this? I mean, I know I spend a lot of time indoors, but I never thought it would be this bad that I would never notice all the changes you've made. Especially you're creating such a beautiful garden like this. It, you were hoping I wouldn't find out? Be, because it was a surprise for me? Mayor, are you saying that this was a gift for me? M Mayor, y you didn't have to go through such efforts just for me. I mean, I'm not anyone special or anything like that. I don't deserve such a gift as amazing as this. This is the kind of thing that you would give to someone you really, really care about, not just... Not someone who's just a friend or just a secretary to you. Mayor, I... You are too kind to me. But if you keep acting so nice to me, then I'll just get the wrong idea. You're doing so much for me, and... It's... It's too much. I mean... Again, I'm, I'm not that special or anything, and you can say that I am all you want, but... This is the sort of thing that you would normally do for a... For a romantic partner, nobody would go out of their way to make such a beautiful garden for someone they just consider a friend. If you keep doing such kind of things for me while making such a cute face, I won't be able to stop myself from falling even harder in love with you. Mayor, I... Mayor, just... Tell me honestly, how do you really feel about me? Yes, I know you think of me as a great friend and a great secretary, but do you see me as anything else? I mean, you're giving me some really mixed signs here, Mayor. Half the time you avoid me whenever you can, and the other times you give me minor gifts like flowers, seashells, you even take me to the beach sometimes when I'm really, really free from doing paperwork, and you've even taken the liberty of remembering what kind of coffee I like, and you get coffee from me almost all the time. But when you aren't doing nice things like that, you're avoiding me. You're spending less time with me, you're... You won't talk to me as much. It feels like you're keeping something from me. And then you go out of your way to do something like this for me. Just, how do you really feel about me? Do you, do you see me as anything else at all? Like what? Like maybe, maybe a potential girlfriend? Why am I asking this? B because I, you see, Here, I've... I've been keeping something from you. That's why. I've... I've been telling myself for such a long time, and I've been telling myself all day that if I tell you how I feel, then it's just gonna make things worse. It's gonna make things awkward for us at work. It's... It's going to be dreadfully inappropriate given that you're the mayor and that I'm the secretary, but... Not only that, but I was so afraid it was going to ruin our friendship. And I didn't want that. But... At this point... At this point, I feel like I need to say something. Because if I don't say it now, then I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. And you know what? It's a new year! A new decade! So, I'm just going to say how I feel, and if you reject me, that's fine. But I can't hide how I feel anymore. Mayor, I like you. A lot. And I mean that in a romantic sense. I've tried not to feel like this, I really have, but I can't stop myself. I've felt like this since the beginning, and it's only gotten stronger every single day. 
your hair, your face, your smile, your confidence, your laugh, your desire to help others. You're everything. I love all of it. I want to be there for you as more than just a secretary and more than just a friend. I want to be more than all of that to you. I want to be by your side always. I want to make you laugh and smile on days where you're feeling sad. And I want to always be there to hold your hand and hug you and kiss you and... Huh? Eh? You... You what? You feel the same way about me? R really? I mean... I... I, I mean, I had my suspicions, but I didn't think that you... How long have you felt like this? S since the beginning as well? Y you thought I had mayor zoned you, and you were avoiding me because... You were trying to get over your feelings for me, but you just couldn't? <laughs> Mayor, of all the things that you've said to me over the years, that has got to be the goofiest thing you've ever said. Mayor Zond. <laughs> uh, it looks like they've started the countdown now. Fifteen seconds to go. Hey, Mayor. This new year... This new decade, D do you think that we can make it the decade, the year where we f finally become more than just friends? Gosh, I said it. It's so embarrassing being so forward with you like this. R really? Then, t does that mean that we're t together now? <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, I've never been so happy and relieved in my whole entire life. Well, save for the day that I found out that you were going to be our mayor after Tortimer decided to retire. <laughs> huh. Fireworks started. It's official. We're in the new year now. And starting now, we leave the old chapter of our lives behind and open up a new chapter of our lives together as a couple. And I promise that I will make you the happiest in the whole world. And I will continue to love you for as long as you'll let me. Though I'm sure I'll just keep on loving you, even if you tell me to stop. <laughs> Alright. That's enough of that. I don't want to put such a lovely display that you've made for me to waste, so... Come on, let's sit here and enjoy the fireworks together. <laughs> <laughs> 